So the bottom line of my work is here to teach you something. If you don't appreciate yourself, you'll be living in a mud. You'll be living in illusion. The moment you believe that you deserve to love yourself, because you are a result of a sperm and an egg, and you are already successful just because of that. And since there is sun, and there is rain, and there is wind, that should be all enough for most of us. And some of us don't have the parental love. So you have to use your environment to love you. Use that. So, a test. Because since we don't know how to empower each other and our fellow Pakistani citizens, so my job is here to teach you how to do that. Is that okay? Great. So, now the exercise will be this. I need someone to demonstrate it, so I need you. I need, I need a girl because it's a Islamic country, otherwise it would be okay. So I need you. Now ladies and gentlemen, we are going to learn how to hug. How to hug. Because once you learn to do that genuinely, and there is incredible transmission of love going one way and coming back another way. All right? So now, that is the way to empower each other. So I'm going to demonstrate it for you because you may not have a lesson in how to do a hug. So what is your name, please? Benish. Benish. Yes. Thank you so much, Benish. So is that okay with that demonstrate this here? Oh, yeah, I have no issue. Oh, you have no issue. So there's another thing. Please remind me to talk about the word no. She has no issue. Okay, so is that okay then? Yes. Great. So I don't think we need the microphone for this. So we're just going to put it down. Because I won't need a microphone for this either. How did it feel? I feel really good, appreciated. This was 10 seconds, okay? So our first now will be 10 seconds. Then we are going to progress on that. So if we were going to do this for one minute, how would that feel? Don't know yet. Don't know yet, okay? So let's stand up, guys. Find yourself a partner. Thank you so much, Benish, for being here. So since you have no idea what's happening, let's practice. So now, you know what is to expect. Now your job is to stand there, start loving the other human being. If you really, truly want to empower another human being, you can just ask those who did it for one minute, how does it feel? It was really a great sensation to be with my best friend is Salan. Thank you. So, you have a really basic tool here. Start going around and hug your, hug your parents. Hug your friends, stay there. Because once you do this, you empower them. This exercise goes for seven minutes, actually. On my full workshops, I'm doing this for seven minutes on four trials because you as a human being you need to get out of your comfort zone to in order to do this the moment you do it you will feel that your blood pressure slows down your heart rate calms down and you become relaxed this is a natural way of a power of a hug and this is what called love and appreciation and what you are doing is you're forming back your water crystals now, if there is no other person who is around you, how are you going to form your water crystals back? By? Hugging ourselves! Very good! So just how many times do you talk to yourself when you wake up in the morning and you hug yourself? You should be. And it's one very simple thing. Do you know physiologically where is your soul? 
Where is your soul? That's your mind. Where is your soul? Your heart, almost it's nearby. It's your solar plexus, the bottom of your rib cage bone, the sternum bone. Do you know in martial art, if someone hits you right at that point, you are dead in a split second. Now, if you can put your hands on the bottom of your sternum bone, that has a physiological effect of you start loving yourself. So every night and every morning, if you spend a few minutes there, it's going to be a reminder that you are a human being and you are here who deserve to be loved. So you can just empower yourself because you cannot expect from anybody else to love you the way you want to be loved. <laughs> Finally, I'm coming to another direction to show you basically why I am here and to show you the invisible here in Pakistan and why am I keep coming back and I basically see that entrepreneurship is an opportunity right here and right now and let me show you what I see that is happening here what do we have here what is the picture anybody can see it's a it's a market it's a market in Australia and in order to have a little space there and sell fruit you have to be certified by the health department you have to have all your cleaning chemicals what you use because you must clean your stall certified you have to be inspected by the fire department you have to have proper cool storage for your food and your food which you serve you have to be put it away for 30 days because if there is anything happens in town and it's linked to your little food stall the food department or the health department will come after you so these are my lovely friends in Brisbane and then I help them to open up a burrito hut this Mexican dish burrito and um, basically just as a startup in certifications and approvals and equipment it costed $1,500 plus they have to have a car a marketplace to sell and it's very hard to get into those markets you have there's a waiting list to get onto those markets and you have to have a cash flow now what do we have here market where so doesn't it make you wonder that this is a market and that is a market and how come they are actually looking different? Do we have an illusion here? No, we have reality. So what do we have here? Indian, what do we have? What are those? Street markets, thank you. And what do we have here? What do we, Pakistan, that's right. Check this out, Mr. Harun's McDonald's. Huh. So what I see here. And what hides in the dark for me and is becoming visible is this is what I see. I see great hunger. But hunger not in a way of literally peeping, people being hungry. I'll see your eyes. Every one of you. And I see hunger. Hunger for better. And most of, most of the eyes tell me I'm lost. I don't know where to go to make it better. Because I'm waiting for a miracle to happen. And then I'll just say that you guys, this is your miracle. In your country, there are no, no rules. Most of you are angry about it and I'm celebrating it. Do you know why? Because when you combine the two together, 
you get an unbelievable opportunity but the western world doesn't have kids in universities would love to have a chance to open up something on a street and sell but they can't they love to do handicraft stuff and sell it they can't too many restrictions too many rules and regulations what you have so you see my shoe guy over here you have unbelievable chances and once you teach people how to wear shoes then you can bring in other people who knows how to shine shoes. Start somewhere. Start looking at opportunities. Because everywhere I see, there are opportunities. But if your eyes are not going there, you will only see misery. So the exercise I put you through, all that pain, is to start teaching you to refocus and you start seeing the opportunity and a possibility to everything because that is your reality will be for your life <laughs> and you will have to choose so how do we do this collaboration the moment you start loving your friend and empowering your friend then you stand up and say i am going to help you to make your dream come true where is this world of Pakistan going to be rising up? Can any government stop you from your friend to empower your friend and supporting your friend? So are you waiting for that? So what can you do right here, right now? Empower each other. Empower yourself. And if you know that you deserve it because you love yourself, then you trust yourself. It will be yours. So unite instead of pulling apart. And help each other. Because the more you help, the more God's going to give you. That's the only way we are here on this world. You get love from God and you got to give it back. The moment you withhold it and you become selfish about it, you won't get more for sure. So the moment you feel the cycle dynamically moving and the only way is to give back to society, give back to your friends on a daily basis, you are going to be experiencing miracles if you do that. So, basically I'm here as part of a foundation, Supertech Foundation, and we have choti choti businesses for you if you want to start and ideas for you which can start on $100 which can start earning you three to four hundred dollars and better than that we can teach you how to start mini franchises so instead of you selling bunk kebabs on the street you can help a person a needy person to start the business and you can start helping ten of them now, how would that feel to tell your mom, Mom, I'm a franchise owner. Would she be happy? So, it's about you and your skills to sell the, these all to mom. How many of you are here in school because you wanted to be here? Hands up. How many of you are here because your parents told you you should be here? Whichever way, I know the truth. Okay? Who is paying for your education? Your parents. How many of you are paying for your own self? Very good. God bless you. I never paid. I mean, my parents never paid for my education. So those of you who do, I really bow my head for you because I know what it means to get the money for your education. Because then you're gonna work really, really hard. And you're gonna be in the school but you wanna really study. So those of you who are just wasting mom and dad's money, I just say, walk out. Sorry about that. Other ones will come. <laughs> but to live an unhappy life, but being here and you don't wanna be here, doesn't make sense. If it's all about money, then start a business. So, 
My only message from this is I will have with Mr. Salman Abbasi things about what if you could learn online without not coming here and you can run your business in the same time. How great would that be? So my second question is, are you ready to have five to ten careers in your life? I hope so. And I hope that today you can write it down and start planning for those because one of them will only last five to six years and then you have to move on and things will start to move on parallel dimensions so while you are going towards the end a new one will come in you have to have an open mind and a vision is clear enough to see wide enough on the horizon to be ready for minimum five things in your life what you are going to do I'm on my fourth one right now. And transitions are always shaky. But what do we learn about pain and transition and in comfort and uncomfort? They only last for temporary. They won't last forever. So if I can empower you to inspire yourself to believe that every shaky situation when is a change comes to celebrate it because you know the next dimension comes and you're stepping into your next level of things, then I did a good job. And I hope I could give you tools here today to do that, to get you ready with an open mind and start walking this journey and enjoying every moment. Because if you do that, all miracles will be available for you on the way. So thank you so much for having me here. It was my delighted experience being with you guys. And I know I disturb your mind a lot. And I love you guys.